Hey, Chris with RC Worst here. Thanks for joining me on another video. Today, we're talking about how to properly install barbed fittings into poly pipe. The tools that you're gonna need for this proper installation is gonna be a propane torch, a couple of clamps. You may or may not need a mallet of some sort. We've got a dead blow hammer here and then just a 5 16 nut driver. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start by heating up the pipe. You wanna get it nice and hot so that the plastic is really soft and pliable and then when you insert the barbed fitting, it's gonna essentially almost shrink around each one of those barbs and really grab hold and give you a good strong connection. So as we're heating the pipe, we wanna make sure that we heat it evenly all the way around and don't burn any spots on the pipe itself. Now you might be able to tell that this pipe here is pretty thick pipe. This is an SIDR7 poly pipe. So this is a 250 psi rated poly pipe and it's actually quite tough stuff to work with because it's pretty rigid but at the same time it's a great product to use because it's pretty rigid. It's tough stuff. It's going to hold up to the environment. It's going to hold up to the elements. So it's a great uh, transport line for water or wastewater applications. Also good to use in irrigation um, and a variety of other uh, water transfer applications. So we're starting to get that pipe nice and hot now. And uh, you can kind of start to see the pipe is actually starting to sweat just a little bit and it, it, it starts to kind of get a little bit of a glossy look to it. Now obviously I don't want to stick my hand in that torch but I'm a safe distance away here. Get the inside nice and warm. That's really where you want most of the heat. But the outside has to also be hot because when you're tightening those clamps down that's where those things are going to really dig in. So we're starting to see this thing get real hot now and I think it's about time to throw our fitting in. Now I don't use any type of lubricant or anything like that when I'm installing these fittings and you want to be real quick with this and get it in there. Just shove that right in there. And if it doesn't go completely flush, that's when you're going to want to grab the mallet. So the next step is you put your clamps on. Now, the important thing with the clamps, before I put those on, I'll show you, is you want to make sure that they're facing opposite directions and when installed, they're configured in this fashion. And that's important because then each clamp is pulling the opposite direction and you're going to get the most leverage and the best seat with this particular install. And you want to be relatively quick when you're installing these because this poly pipe cools down pretty quickly and you want to take full advantage of the flexibility when you're installing it. And you want to really go almost as tight as you can on this. You don't need anything other than just hand tight, but as good as you can get it hand tight. And then once this cools off, you're never going to get it out of there. You'll have to cut it completely out of there, uh, probably by reheating the pipe up with the clamps removed to ever get this out of there, which is a good thing. That's how easy it was, how quick and simple it was to properly install that. They do come in PVC. You can use the same strategy with PVC. You just want to be cautious not to overheat it or your PVC could become compromised or in the event that you need to couple your poly pipes together. So this is a useful tip for transitioning from poly pipe to any other type of piping, whether it be hose, PVC, steel piping, all of it applies when you're using these type of barbed fittings. That's installing barbed fittings into poly pipe. Thanks for joining me today. We'll catch you next time.